For uh, 2020, we have a new Phase 5 foil lineup that includes a really small board compared to the gizmo. It's called a chip. And then there's the original gizmo that you might know about already, and I'll let you talk about that one, John. So the one thing I've liked about the gizmo, I've been riding it for a year now, it's got a good thickness and a good round nose. The reason for this is when you cavitate the foil, cavitating is when you come out of the water and land flat on the water. This nose allows you to skim across the water and not sink. You can recover from all those, all that cavitation. So that's what I like most about this board. As you can see, we have foot straps, make for a really smooth ride and also not as dangerous when you have the foot straps because your feet are still attached when you go down. So there's no way to fall on the foil. That's what I like about the straps. Carving's better with the straps and your start is way better with the straps. And you can take the straps off when you're getting a little more advanced with your riding and your foiling. You can always take the straps off. And you can, as you can see, we have a wing there for a little added speed and your carbon stringers for a little extra strength. So a really stiff ride while pumping. You do not feel the board flex at all. I really like the stiffness in this board while pumping. So that's why I ride the gizmo. Cool, then we have the uh, new chip, which uh, is really short and awesome for foiling. Essentially, when you're out of the water on the foil, you don't need that much of a board. Having a really short board allows you to get aggressive with your turning, so you don't have as much length out in front of you to kind of hit the water when you're doing uh, maybe an aggressive dive. The chip's uh, definitely designed for the more experienced foiler. I guess it would be the next board that you'd want to jump to after the gizmo. Um, if you want something different, a whole different experience. Um, this year we got a nice turn down rail that helps you bounce back up. And if you're leaning sideways, it kind of helps keep it up out of the water. It's kind of a unique feature. Um, it's got the track mount, which allows you to mount a multiple foils. Uh, you know, you can slide it forward or backwards depending on what kind of foil you have. What's really good about the chip is how small it is. You have a really accurate pump speed with a smaller board because you're, you're just really feeling the foil and not so much the board. So once you get good at foiling, you will want to step down to the smaller board to get a little more accuracy on the foil. For 2020, we got our own foil this year. It's the Phase 5 Nova Foil. Pretty excited about it. It's got a really nice front wing. We call it the 760 front wing. Pretty stoked on the 28 inch mast. It gives you even more height to fly. Another cool thing about the foil, you get a nice little carry case. It's all compartmentalized, <clears throat> so you can keep everything organized. So you got compartments for your mast, your fuselage, your front wing, rear wing, all your parts, keep it all nice and tidy in one place. Uh, the Nova foil for 2020 also comes with neoprene covers, so you can keep your wings covered and protected, looking good after you're done with your session and riding. I travel with my foil everywhere I go, so having this new foil package is game changing for me and just being able to travel with your foil is incredible. So to have this package all in one is great. So that's our 2020 foil line. Um, we're excited about the new offering with the chip in addition to the already proven gizmo. So check it out.